Source has learned that Bar One, the Miami restaurant owned by Peter Thomas, ex-husband of Real Housewives of Atlanta star Cynthia Bailey, is currently facing a lawsuit for eviction. Bentley Bay Retail LLC has filed a lawsuit against Bar One Miami Beach, the establishment operated by Peter Thomas since 2019, as revealed in court documents obtained. In the complaint, Bentley Bay Retail, identified as the landlord of the property housing Bar One, stated that it had entered into a commercial lease agreement with Thomas in 2018, as outlined in the filing. The company mentioned that Thomas had previously faced a lawsuit for eviction due to unpaid payments. However in 2020, an agreement was reached between the parties wherein Bailey's ex-husband agreed to settle any outstanding debts. According to a copy of the settlement, Bar One agreed to pay a sum of $270,000 to resolve all outstanding issues. As stipulated in the settlement, Bentley Bay Retail stated that if any checks were returned due to insufficient funds, the agreement would be nullified, thereby requiring Bar One to vacate the premises. However the lawsuit states that Thomas submitted multiple payments, which were subsequently returned for insufficient funds in July, August, September, October 2022, and March 2023. Bentley Bay Retail claims that Thomas owes a combined total of $422,000, encompassing rent, outstanding costs, utility charges, and sales taxes. The lawsuit states that Thomas received notification of his default status in October 2022, coinciding with the filing of the present lawsuit. However the case experienced delays as negotiations were initiated by Thomas. Despite the negotiation attempts, the company asserts that the talks were unsuccessful, leading to their current demand for Bar One to vacate the premises without delay. As per sources, Thomas faced another recent personal lawsuit related to a separate restaurant venture. In 2022, he made an announcement about his intentions to open an upscale supper club named One Society, with plans to invest $3 million into the project. So what are your thoughts like share and subscribe and thanks for watching.